From the NBC 26 Precision Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron, my hands are going to freeze as soon as I step outside again, huh? Your hands and anything else that well, is exposed to the cold air. Well, that's pretty much the, the only part air. that would be exposed <laughs> at this point. You've got one of those ski masks which cover everything except for your eyes, right? <laughs> <laughs> you will need that and you will need to hang on to it through the next seven days. Take a look at your seven-day temperature trend. We've got a warm-up on the way for Saturday with highs getting up into the upper 20s and lower 30s. But following that warm-up, we have got a shot of bitterly cold air that will move into Wisconsin as we head into Sunday night, Monday and Tuesday. Both Monday and Tuesday across most of the upper Midwest, it looks like temperatures will struggle to reach highs in the single digits and teens below zero. Today, most of us got above zero, slightly above zero in most cases. One degree right now above zero in the Marinette Menominee area. We're looking at two in Chilton, one in Clintonville, six below in Anago, where temperatures have been below zero all day long. And we're going to see a wide range in temperatures across the area as we move throughout the evening. Warmer south where there are clouds, colder across the north where skies are partly cloudy or just plain old clear. We've got a westerly wind out there, so wind chills are below zero just about everywhere. It feels like 13 below in Green Bay and it feels like 13 degrees below zero in Watoma. And those wind chills will continue to drop off as we head deeper into the night. Here's a look at the final sunset for 2013 behind some thickening clouds moving in across the central and southern part of the state. Although we had many high impact weather events here in northeast Wisconsin throughout the year. Here are a look at the top two. Obviously, number one, the Fox Valley tornadoes that hit around midnight, late August 6th into August 7th, and then number two on the list, basically in the same area from Appleton down to Oshkosh, the ice storm, which produced widespread damage. Both of these events were produced by thunderstorms. No thunderstorms today across the Badger State, but we've been looking at a large area of light to moderate snow Brushing the southern third of the state, that's where we have winter weather advisories, roughly from Madison South down towards northern Illinois. That snow is being produced by a system that is making its way across Iowa this evening. It'll quickly move off towards the east later on this evening, but another one is going to move in tomorrow. And behind that system, our winds are going to turn to the north and east, which means we will be looking at the threat for some lake effect snow and or snow showers, especially east of the Fox Valley as we head into tomorrow evening tomorrow night and into Thursday. Right now the computer models are showing a dusting to a couple of inches, but if we get one of those heavier bands coming in, then obviously the totals could go way up. So your forecast for tonight calls for variable cloudiness, a wide range of temperatures, teens below zero across the north, single digits above zero across the south. All of us will be looking at sub-zero wind chills. Tomorrow, plenty of clouds with that chance for lake effect snow developing as we move into the evening and overnight hours. We'll keep that chance for some lake effect snow showers on Thursday. Warming up on Saturday ahead of a cold front with gusty winds, temperatures close to freezing, maybe a January thaw for some and then turning sharply colder, bitterly cold for Monday and Tuesday. Highs below zero, overnight lows way below zero. That is going to be an uncomfortably chilly Packers game. Yes, kickoff <laughs> temperatures around 10 degrees. That's the way it looks wow. right now. Similar to what we saw for the uh, December 8th game against Atlanta. All right, thank you, Cameron. Okay. Now let's take a look at what you'll see tonight at 6 o'clock. Stacey Angerbretson joins